going to show you um, how to do the place command with Aspen. Place is simply an elevated pet bed. You can use a dog bed or a chair or a couch or all kinds of other surfaces too, but for now she only knows it on the elevated pet bed. Um, as you get her better at this command and you practice it a lot more, she can transfer it to other things, like so like a, a, a dog bed or a couch or a chair or whatever. Um, place is really useful. We love this command. We use it for when dogs are begging at the dinner table, trying to get um, food from our, our hands and our laps while we're cooking or eating a snack or whatever. For when she's jumping on guests. Uh, when people come in the home, that's going to be really important for Aspen. We can put her on the place bed, and she's not allowed to bark while she's on the place bed. She's not allowed to um, do any kind of bad behavior. So she can sit, lie down, stand up, spin in circles, whatever, but all four feet have to remain on the bed, and she's not allowed to make any noise or vocalizing. Uh, this is also great for her cat chasing problem. So if she's bothering the cat, put her on place. Um, if the cat's out milling around and cuddling with you guys, just put Aspen on place and that'll just solve your problems there. Uh, so put the dog on place. You're going to lead them up to the bed and you're going to say the word place. And to release them from the bed, to let them off the bed, you're just gonna walk up to the bed. You need to walk up and almost touch the dog and say, free, good job. She should not come off the bed unless she's told free, good girl. So to put her back on the bed, you say, ask her place. And I give her a treat as soon as she gets on the bed. I like to give them a treat as soon as they get on the bed, and if there's any big distractions that they overcome, that they go through. So people coming in the house, uh, people knocking on the door, kids throwing things around, making loud noises, all that kind of stuff. Anything that might be a distraction that cause her to come off the bed, if she stays on the bed, we give her a treat. Now if she comes off of the bed, we go ahead and correct her either using our e-collar remote or by using her her slip collar that she's wearing. She should wear that all the time in the house along with the e collar. You can give her a correction on both if needed. So we are going to go through some distractions and test her and see what she can do. I think I'm going to do pass it out. Place. So I she came off with that when she wasn't supposed to. So I marked it with N-O. Then I use the correction on the e-collar, and then I reminded her and sent her back to the bed. We'll try that again. Aspen. Oh, you good, Aspen. Oh, you know you're so good. All right, good distraction. We'll go ahead and retreat with that one. Good girl, Aspen. Good place. Mistakes sometimes. Um, if she makes a mistake more than three times in a row, 
That means we as a human are doing something wrong. Either the distraction is way too high, maybe people are coming in the house and she keeps getting off the bed, or we're not correcting her hard enough. So if you've tried using our e-collar and she got back on the bed, but the next time she makes the same mistake, we use our slip leash too to do both. Um, more often than not, it's a problem with the way that we're rewarding and correcting, not necessarily a problem with the distraction itself. So we need to just try to uh, analyze the situation and decide are we giving a correction that's appropriate uh, for this level of distraction and thank you reward. So if there's an extra special occasion where maybe someone's coming in the house that she's never met before, I would give her a high reward. And if she comes off the bed, we give her a first correction. If it's just a normal every day, we're eating dinner, we put her on the place bed, you can feed her just her plain old dog food as a treat. Good Aspen. And that should be a high enough reward for her.